Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. In Lebanon, the country's sole power provider, Electricité du Liban, will boost its efforts to stop illegal connections to Lebanon's power grid with the help of internal security forces, the state-run company said in a statement on Wednesday. The month of June saw many violations rectified in all territories, including Beirut, where 128 illegal connections uh, occurred, and Shiyah in 261, until yes, in northern Mount Lebanon 196, southern Mount Lebanon and the south 674, and the Bekaa Valley and the north, with a total of 2,135 violations across the country. In Dubai, investors did not overreact to the new announcement of further top-level management departures at ArabTech, with the share closing at 2.48 UAE dirhams and down 7 fills on Wednesday. The construction giant issued a statement on Dubai financial market that three executives, including Iyad Abdal Rahim, the group chief financial officer, had put in their resignations. This will add to the departures of the company's founder, Riyad Kamal, and also a CEO. Egyptian dairy giant Johanna and Danish Arla Foods have signed a partnership agreement for the establishment of a joint venture called Arju Food Industries. In a ceremony on Wednesday attended by Egypt's industry investment and international cooperation ministers, a statement by the Foreign Trade and Industry Ministry quoted Johanna CEO Safwan Thabit as saying the new entity will launch with an initial capital of uh, Egyptian Lira's 200 million that will hopefully climb to 500 million. It targets 100 million euros in revenues by 2020. Following last year's soaring sentiment in the Middle East, hotel job market buoyed by burgeoning supply and a residual buzz from the Dubai Expo 2020 win, confidence levels in 2015 have plummeted. The impact of the Russian visitor market decline, issues with the euro, falling oil prices and political tensions in neighboring countries have led 23.8% of participants to say they feel less secure than they did 12 months ago and the number of hoteliers that are anxious to keep their jobs is also on the rise. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching Arab Business and bye for now.